name is Dirk Peterson. I bring you all the wild and wonderful adventures that Martin has to offer. Welcome to your next adventure. Boom, okay guys, so we are at the entrance to LU, so Learning Unlimited School over here, you got the roundabout. So on this hike, we're going to be doing the Belair Beach to Indigo Bay hike, it's kind of technical, lots of rocks, so you have a few options when it comes to parking, but you can park here, obviously park at your own risk, so you can either park here, you can park over at Rahul Illich, or you can park at the beach and start your hike there. But if you start at the beach, you're gonna miss out on a really cool feature on the start of this hike. So you're gonna take this little dirt road that veers off of the, the route to get to the school. And the pond is on this side. This is not the cleanest pond. There's a lot of sewage runoff and stuff like that. So a lot, of, uh, a lot to be desired in the environmental aspect, but you know, Let's see what the future holds. We have to be optimistic. Welcome back to the vlog. I am excited to be talking to you guys, talking to myself out in the wild, under the sun again. This is the first vlog for 2022. So let's kick it off nice and easy. So yeah, so just a nice casual dirt trail that takes you into the back behind everything. So this is this feature of the hike that I was mentioning that's super cool super awesome and it's right at the beginning and this is a bird watching hut built by the nature foundation and epic So this is a cool way to start off your, your hike, come and check it out, it's really, really beautiful, lots of shade, so if you do this hike backwards also, you can end your hike at the, the hut, drink some water, catch yourself. We started here, so we're gonna head off into here, there's a little sign from Epic, Little Bay, K-Bay Trail, 1.3 kilometers, they consider it a challenging hike. Estimated time one way, two hours. Points of interest, bird watching, panoramic views of the nearby islands and geological formations. Download digital map here. So that's pretty cool. So nice, a little information on the hike. So that's pretty cool. So let's get going. Ooh. Looks like a mongoose. Ah, I miss it. Just saw a mongoose. Stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe because this year is going to be epic. At the end of that road, you're gonna come to this corner and you're gonna have a decision to make. You can either take this corner, follow the road up or go explore where they started to excavate for a development that hasn't started as yet. Or you can continue through the bushes, pointing towards the ocean, walking through the bushes. It's not a, oh, watch out for the prickle trees. And boom, bam, we're at the beach. Ooh, I definitely gotta take a dip today. So I definitely recommend closed toed shoes, laced up nice and tight so you have a good support on your ankles. Thanks. 
So as you guys have seen from the thumbnail, I'm gonna be describing aspects of a hike that makes a hike a good hike from a bad hike. And it doesn't necessarily mean like a hike you shouldn't go on. We're not talking about danger aspects or how challenging it is, but it's gonna determine whether you frequent a hike or not on any hike that you do. But it is beautiful. There's a bird flying overhead. So let's talk about the topic of today. I like to call this reflection points. So it's an area where the landscape is just accepting to you. You know, like a nice spot to just sit down, relax and reflect. And that's where I get the name reflecting point. It's somewhere along the journey. It could be at the end also, but just a space that you can just sit down and you know, take in the experience, decompress. This is a good time to take off your shoes get a little bit grounded on your journey you know like if you're going hiking make sure you have time to stop enjoy it you know like if you gotta rush to the to the end rush back it's not it's not you're not gonna get the full experience and I'm gonna give you some examples of non reflection points right now so for me so yeah guys, so that's definitely a point that when you go hiking, stop, look for a reflection point, an area where you can stop, rest, drink water, and just get grounded for a moment before you continue your adventure. So we're officially around the corner and the view is beautiful. Very untapped. The rock structure is amazing. I think we figured out why they consider this a challenging hike. Because there's a rope climb involved. And if you can see the rope over there, we're gonna give it a go and see how tough it really is. Alright guys, so you can see the rope here that leads up. It's actually quite steep. So the rope is definitely super necessary, safety-wise. So we are on the corner. We're gonna take the rope up and see where we end up. But I'm enjoying it so far. Let's go. the trail you can find a nice road to follow that'll take you all the way in to Indigo Bay so obviously guys like I like to push and drive home is that a lot of these natural features on St. Martin they're not gonna be around forever get up and get out and go and enjoy because obviously this area you can already see the heavy machinery and stuff it's all gonna be developed and for security reasons, features like this are big holes in community um, security because people can use these thieves and that kind of stuff as exit points to get away with your personal belongings and stuff like that. So these are features that are going to be more regulated and monitored and maybe even um, set up in a way that people can't climb this anymore so while it's here enjoy it we're gonna start walking down and see where we end up please guys I feel I do need to mention and specify that these are people's private homes 
So please respect people's privacy. Don't go peering into their homes and stuff like that. You wouldn't like people to do it to your home. So don't do it to others. Have respect. Obviously, enjoy the view. But have respect for others and others' privacy. Respect don't litter. If you bring trash or try and limit the amount of waste that you go on your hikes with. So if you need to take all your snacks out, put them in reusable containers, that kind of stuff is going to limit how much trash end up on your trail. You know, it's, it's think, think a little bit ahead so that you are, you know, trying to preserve a lot of these features, you know. Hopefully we can develop more in the coming times, but for now we need to appreciate and help make sure that we always have hiking trails and nature to enjoy. Of the video with something positive and today's positive message is going to be find a place to stop and reflect we we very caught up with technology incorporating itself into all aspects of our life our free time our work time so just find a time to separate get grounded and just remember that the best simulation is the real world you know don't get too involved in this digital world like all of this is all cool and fun and you know financial freedom is a must but financial freedom is a means to real freedom and sometimes real freedom is as simple as getting out and going for a hike so i'm going to enjoy the rest of my afternoon hope you guys get inspired try it out and if you guys do go out i want you guys to use the hashtag star living adventure so i can see where you guys are I can get some reflection points from you guys, that would be super cool. If you guys are curious on the cameras I use for the vlogs, all the stuff is going to be in the link in the description below. Follow me on Instagram and all that cool stuff and see you guys on our next adventure. Alright guys, so check this video out, you two think it's the best one for you. Thank you guys for watching.